Okay. Welcome to Story Fan. This is, I swear to God, like our eighth attempt at this. First, we had Clara, who got bored. And then I was a curmudgeon. And we kind of rubber a bit. And uh, here we are. Very late, trying to get this review of the episode out. So. I'm sorry, everyone. <laughs> Anyway, uh, really quick to talk about how we're going to do the room. Because I'm bored. Uh oh. I'll be quick. So, to talk about how we're going to do the Ruby reactions uh, and reviews. So, basically, we're going to follow Rooster Teeth guidelines, which means that we will not release reactions till the following Saturday. We are first members. You don't have to be. We aren't going to cross that line. Uh, but we're going to try and get reviews out that weekend. Clearly, we dropped the ball. Um, but hopefully, going forward, it will not be so much work, and I will do better at this. So, well, that's uh, taking care of the boring side. So let's go ahead and talk about the episode. What did you think, whatever you are thing that's on my shoulder? Tentacle Kitty Blue Ninja. Tentacle Kitty Blue Ninja. Is that like the actual term or is well, that what you came up with no apparently the brand is tentacle kitty but it is blue ninja little one so what did he think of the episode he didn't watch it so what do you think of the episode i thought it was good <laughs> i liked it i did too so uh i think <laughs> I think I can easily say my favorite part was a lot of people's favorite part, and that was Penny. <laughs> that was really awesome, especially because I called it, like, while we were watching. You called it in the episode. You didn't like call it like two seasons ago or anything. Don't make no. it sound amazing. It but, was like the episode was going. And you okay, were like, did you figure it out before she showed up? No, but that's because I'm old. My brain doesn't work that quickly. Yeah. I didn't figure out because I didn't catch what he said the first time we watched it. The part about the daughter? Yeah. Was I blowing my nose? I might have been blowing my nose. I don't yeah. know what it was. It's allergy, cold season. Not it's their allergy friend. Allergy especially for me. And him. Yeah, apparently. But, uh... I liked when she tackled Ruby. That was funny. <laughs> <laughs> Although I am sad because I was waiting for her to say com she was combat ready. I was like waiting for it. I was like, she's gonna say it. She's gonna. Oh no, she didn't. She's gonna. Oh no. She's. Damn she it. said some mutations. Yeah, but that's not the same thing. But that's like another one of her things. I know, but she should have said both. I mean, the board game that they have out it. There's even the Combat Ready Edition. Come on. You gotta say Combat Ready. Right? Mm, Remember like said a rule? It. Um, when she was describing her upgrades, she could have said, She's more Combat Ready. Like she does. You you know I'm right. Makes no sense. There were chances. No. Yep. No. Multiple. No. Uh, I also like the part with Weiss and the drunk guy. They were both drunk. They were I both drunk. I swear they were both drunk. We, we had a disagreement. Watched we watched it again today. You could tell he was drunk. Or just He's really stupid. He was slurring his words. Do not make Tentacle Kitty hurt you. Tentacle Kitty. Blue she will ninja. ninja you in the face. I was ninja. Ninja. What were you, Julie? What was your favorite part? Maria. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Is she not a lot of people's favorite parts? Of course. She's, she's, yeah, she's, she's one of my favorite she's parts. She's my spirit animal. What about Tentacle Kitty? Don't listen, Tentacle Kitty. Tentacle Kitty is not my spirit animal. If anything, Bunny running with chainsaws is my spirit animal. She has that t-shirt. It's true. But, uh, she's very sassy. I like her. Me, Me too. What else? What else? What else? Hmm. I did not like when they got arrested. <laughs> I don't like those I hated people. those ASAPs. Yeah. 
they were like those characters in like most shows that are like annoyingly professional and just like just those, assholes yeah I'm like assholes basically so what did you think about Crow's new voice actor complaining about them <laughs> He just sounds a lot younger now, and kind of like the character is rejuvenated, which he really shouldn't sound like that, so yeah. it's it's a little bit distracting for me. I'm sure as it goes on, I'll find it less and less distracting, but like right at the moment, he sounds younger and less tired. And I Less mean, crowy. Yeah. He's... I mean, he's supposed to be pissed off and annoyed and tired of everything. That's how he always sounds. And then now it's like, well, no, he's, he's... Maybe he's so We got this guy. Because we noticed in the what opening... What did he go do to well, become we noticed in the opening, he's got a new, he has a new outfit. Yeah, but like right now, he's not rejuvenated. And yeah, we did notice that the second time around. Mm-hmm. Well, you noticed it, and then I rewound it twice. <laughs> we noticed that. We noticed that Ironwood's face shifts to Jacques when they get hit by a uh, rock, the TV screen. Yeah, that was weird. I so. noticed it the first time we watched that. <laughs> so, is what's his face like the one who actually hacked the Atlas security system? What? Because he was the one who was typing and everything. What? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Because every time they did the hack, they always had a W. Okay. Mm hmm. So, that would make sense if he's a disgraced Elysian. I feel Zionist. like he's probably, like, in league with Jacques. Because, of course, he's an asshole. I think so. It's I possible. Feel like it. I feel like that's um, going to be a thing. I also think it's probably very likely that he and Penny's father know each other. Mm, I hope not. I kind of like Penny's father. Well, not like they're bad, but we know he's a disgraced Elysian scientist. Maybe they were partners when they were younger, mm. and then whatever they happened... Younger. Yeah. Penny's father is clearly much older than Watts. Mm. Well, they could have been a mental relationship. Mm. He could have been a couple years older. I mean, don't forget, sometimes people age differently. Yeah, that's true. I mean, your grandfather is a year older than my father. But your grandfather I would is say still in much likely, better health than my father. Yeah, I would say most likely mentor relationship thing. Yeah, it's possible. Yeah. So, um. any other parts that we didn't like? Hmm. Hmm. I don't like that they took the lamp. It's like, dude, you don't even know what the fuck it is. Don't touch it. <laughs> it's <laughs> glowing. It's a glowing yeah, blue just, thing. Why the like fuck would you just it. grab it? Like, you don't know what it is. You don't know what it does. What kind of cops are you? God. Isn't that <sighs> just grabbing shit? Idiot. <laughs> Isn't that what they should do, though, as cops? Like, no. take it back to the base to find out what it is? You shouldn't just randomly touch things. Do you not see, like, bomb squads? Remember on Jingle All the Way when he said the present was a bomb and, like, nobody wanted to touch it? And then they found out it was a stupid music box? Like, and you don't just grab stuff. You don't know what it is. You don't know if it could explode. You know what it is. I say you don't know what it is like three times. You did. But you don't. I, uh, I didn't like the uselessness of Blake at the moment since her weapon's broken. Yeah. Yeah. Well, hopefully she'll get better because her new outfit, that she's well, got the new I sword. Mean, and it's, it's like twice like, as long. It's not like she did any training while she was away. Like... Yang started doing training with her dad to try and get her temper under control and try and do all these only things. Eventually. And like, Ruby went traveling and kept fighting and kept getting better. Along with uh, Weiss John and then... started training herself. Blake was just. Blake was. Well, I mean, they did some there. training. She was there. Blake but existed. She wasn't really training herself so much as she was training other people. No, she wasn't really. She was well, no, delegating. But, well, remember they had the whole thing like, oh, we'll have to do some training on the way to to, to Haven with the whole Florence you militia. You don't know if she was doing the training or if someone else was. You don't know. Chances are probably like that she, her dad, and uh, I'm just saying. son were doing the majority of the training there. I mean, there's only three combat people. And her dad really isn't a combat guy. He was big and strong, but he really wasn't a... Well, I'm, I'm, I'm always pretty was. good. 
Her mom Actually, held her yeah. own. She was attacked was by, like, fighter. three people. So she. Yeah, okay. she fucking held her own, like... Okay, I stand corrected on that. Well, you don't know their lives. You don't know. I don't think she's much that much of a fighter, though. No. Yeah, she doesn't have any hand-to-hand or anything like that. She, she's got she's nothing except gun. for the she weapon. Like, she's, like, she's one Without the weapon, she's just kind of, like, there. And that kind of sucks. Well, I'm sure she'll get better. Okay. So before we move on to our theories coming up, I like to dig up trivia and learn things. I'm going to ask you guys two things. Mm-hmm. Oh, God. First of all, apparently this was not originally going to be chapter uh, one of volume seven. It was going to be chapter 14 of volume six. Mm-hmm. It would, volume six would have ended on this episode. So we would have gotten Penny back last volume, but we would have seen everyone got arrested as well. Yeah. So... Some people complain they feel like it's a weak intro episode. Other people say it's better as an intro to Volume 7 than an ending to Volume 6. What do you guys think? I think it's a better mm. intro than an ending because... I mean, for the- once, can't we get a little bit of hope in this show? Like, please, <laughs> for the love of God. Every other show, when they end on cliffhangers, it's like... Oh, this person might have died. We don't know. This person might not be a doctor anymore. We don't know. At least give us some hope. Because, well, like... didn't Volume 5 end on a, a happy note? Hmm. See, I think that's why I think it's okay to start. Because it feels like... Yeah, I guess. We've got arcs. Mm. So, Volumes... <laughs> volumes 1 to 3... I had for a really long time. <laughs> volumes 1 to 3 were the Beacon Arc. Mm-hmm. And then Volume 4 and 5 were the Haven Arc. Mm-hmm. And now at Volume 6, we started the Atlas Arc. So mm-hmm. I think it was fine that Atlas uh, Arc, you know, Volume 6, Chapter 1, started off so strong with a great fight and all the great stuff. And maybe this one isn't as strong as the start to Volume 6, because this isn't the beginning of a new arc. It literally picks up 30 right, seconds yeah, before yeah. mm-hmm. <laughs> the end of the last volume. But yeah, and like with the whole bringing back Penny thing, I feel like it's better to start off Volume Seven with that than just like end Volume Six with Oh, here's Penny. Oh, here. Gotta by wait. the way, <laughs> yeah. Hey, just, <laughs> sorry, t- I'm sorry. I am so sorry. It's just like here's Penny. I just now like you, it. now it's uh, that's where Volume Six ends. Yeah, like, that's it. Like, who, why would they end it with that? He has a point. Mm-hmm. That might be why they shifted it. But yeah, so originally it was supposed yes. to be the end of the last one. Yes, but... Okay. Here's the other thing I found out. Mm. So the Aesops mm. are based off of Aesops. I like how he giggles. Like, that <laughs> means something to us. <laughs> the Aesops I always are... expect him to do that Ernie thing. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so, Aesops, the ace, like, you know, the excellent operatives, the Aesops, mm-hmm. are based off of, apparently, Aesops fables. For instance, oh the boy who cried wolf, the fox and the scorpion. Yeah, I know the Aesops fables. What's hilarious about this is when we watch, well, not, I don't think when we watched, it's not when we did our reaction, when we were doing one of the failed attempts earlier to do <laughs> this review, you said the line, I really hate those Aesops. And my thought process was, what, you don't like the lessons in the story? But somehow... You just spit on me. I don't like that. <laughs> God, somehow I did not make the connection <laughs> between the fact that they were supposed to literally be Aesop's fables. I'm just thinking, like, TV tropes, the Aesop of a story. And I'm just complete brain farted until I was looking up trivia. Because I look up trivia, I watch other... Uh, people's discussions, you know, just try and uh, like knowledge. I might be savages. He likes Google <laughs> and TV tropes, and I like living in the story without having to pick apart every little thing. I know that's why I'm so amazing. Yeah. That's why you You're find welcome. problems in everything. I You're know welcome. every no. single show you have a problem. But with. no, that's a good thing. You should always be critical of the things you like the most. If you don't like it, then why bother being critical? Who cares? It's stupid. You don't like it. But if you do really enjoy it, then you need to be critical. And if possible, 
share the criticism constructively. See, this is what my rant about Ruby was about. It's fine not to like something. It's fine to have nitpicks and do criticism. I would collapse backwards, but there is a dresser behind me, and I do not want to hit my collectibles. So imagine this is me <laughs> collapsing backwards in a exasperation at this conversation. Constructive criticism is good. That was my constructive criticism of this conversation. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> because it can help you improve. I it hate should the help people. you improve. <laughs> it does. Help me improve this. It helps. Hate just tears the story down. But constructive criticism builds it up. So you should want to find out all the nitpicks, all the detail, all the trivia, because that's how you can be, enjoy the story or more and become better. you can just better. live in the story, like I do. That's how our writing is different. <laughs> Nitpicky. <laughs> anyway, so yes, I'm so interested to figure out who will be what fable. And because His shows are the wedgies of his life. <laughs> he has to pick at them until they come out. <laughs> Anyway, because the one theory I saw brought up a certain fawn. He's dying. I'm ignore that. It brought up a certain fawnus, the theory I saw, who wears an outfit similar to theirs and would fit really well. Similar. Similar to theirs. Similar (laughs) to theirs. Blah. Similar. (laughs) Who would fit very well into the fox and the scorpion tail. Maybe someone who used to be a member of Aesop's. Tyrion. No, what were you saying? He's literally a scorpion. Tyrion, what if Tyrion's like a member or ex-member of Aesop's? Um, it would explain why he's such a good fighter. And his outfit kind of looks a little bit like their uniform. Yeah. So. Although their uniforms look like just about everyone's outfits in Atlas from what we've seen. True. So. They seem to like to have no sleeves, though. I'm just saying. I mean, maybe it's hot in the clouds. You don't know. <sighs> hot air rises. That's not how it works. Uh, yeah. That's no, it, literally <coughs> what it is. No. Yes, hot air rises. But See? the air up... He when agreed. you go up higher in the air, the temperature gets lower. But he agreed. <laughs> Why do you think there's snow on top of mountains? But they're not on a mountain. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of moisture in clouds. See, it the, could be the, very the, humid. The, the air it would be a cold goes humid. above the mountains. <laughs> and the cold stays on the mountains. What bugs me is that she's actually really good at science. And she's just playing dumb to annoy me right now. <laughs> I'm telling you, the hot air goes above the mountains and the cold stays on the mountains. You don't know it's life. Yes, we do. Have you ever gone up into the clouds? No, I studied right, physics then. in high school, like you. Okay, I'm, I'm just saying, like Bernie said, NASA is ridiculous. Science is sometimes oh ridiculous. God. We're waiting for that McDonald's layer, that Happy Meal layer. Sorry, I'm done. If you look at it the right way, it looks like a dog. She only brought that up. Did she know? <laughs> They're it's only amazing. doing this because they know how much I like astronomy, and they know how much Bernie hates it, and so they know how much I sit there whenever we watch that, and I go, Ugh, every time Bernie complains about NASA. He has points, though. So do paper clips and knives. No, they don't. Yeah, there's a point in a paper clip. In this Why conversation, is paperclip the first thing you think of? I actually thought of knife first, but that sounded too violent. <laughs> you could have said fork. So. Or... So, going forward, what do you guys think might happen? We bounced around the idea of Crow dying. Mm-hmm. Mm. Although he gets a snazzy That's new cool. suit, so maybe he won't. Yeah, I, I don't think not. he's. I don't think he's going to die. No. Not At yet. least not anytime soon. The one thing I found weird was in the opening, it reminded me of like an 80s, 90s, like sitcom opening. Like, with she, the silhouettes she, and everything and the colors I and stuff. I didn't get sitcom. I definitely got like 90s anime out of that. Or even like 90s, like action shows. 
90s. Trust me, I watched a lot 90s. more TV and a lot more cable than you. That reminded me of a lot of different shows. It was <laughs> just a lot. I'm just saying. So. Okay. So I want Neo the, to come back. Well, I think Neo is. We saw Neo and Sindo heading to Atlas. But we didn't see them in the opening. We also didn't see Cinder in Chapter 1 of Volume 6 either. We didn't see Cinder to Chapter 2. So I think it's very likely we're going to see both Cinder and uh, Neo and Watts and Tyrion. And more than likely they're going to end up working against each other. I don't think we're going to see Raven for a while. No, I don't think we'll see Raven Mm. for a while either. Raven? (laughs) (laughs) Male bitch. I can live without Cinder. I could live without Cinder, but I like Neo. But if you yeah. get Neo, then you get Cinder at this point. Do so. you think that Neo would betray Cinder? In a heartbeat. Okay. Do you <laughs> think Neo will try and kill Ruby? Yeah. Probably, yeah. Sure. Oh, yeah. Okay, final question. Do you think at some point, though, Neo will change sides to join with Ruby? Nope. Mm. Because that's the thing a lot of people At want. At the most, she'd probably I know people neutral. would want that, but yeah, that ain't happening. She was like too attached and in love with Torchwick. At the most, she'd and just she blames stay Ruby. on her own side away from everyone else. Yeah. Which I don't even think that's going to happen. Mm. Unless Ruby dies. If Ruby dies, then she'll probably be like, mm, I'm gone. Well, not like away from everyone else, but just like on her own side. Like, on her own side and um, towards well, hopefully side, even though he died. <laughs> well, hopefully we'll get I could story. live without seeing Tyrion or Watts again for a while. No, oh, we're going to see them. I know, mm-hmm. but I could live without it. We probably may not see Emerald or Mercury. Or, mm-hmm. um... I can kind of live without that, too. Anyways, so... Um, why am I blanking on his name right Emerald now? Emerald kind of bugs me with her, like... Hazel? Hazel. Probably won't see him either. Emerald Devotion to Cinder. Yeah. Cinder could not give two craps about her. It bugs me. About who? About Emerald. Mm, yeah. Cinder doesn't give two craps about anybody but herself. Let's be honest. Anything and there are be, people who do not deserve dead. loyal friends like that. Or pseudo-mother-daughter, maybe incestuous, not really incestuous, but kind of weirdly Why feeling. incestuous? Because it's almost like a mother-daughter relationship, but at the same time, you almost feel like, given the chance, Emerald would totally jump Cinder's bones. <laughs> but, like, but at the same time, she treats her like she's her mom. She just Cinder's had to bones. go there. Jump Cinder's bones. Had to go there, didn't you? <laughs> a lot of people seem to have that opinion. That either see this emerald. Everybody has to have like a romantic relationship in people's minds. People can't just be people, apparently. I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I agree. mean, a, a lot of people. Ship yes, everybody ships everybody. Like. I know, I'm guilty of it too. I do it with Miraculous. I get it. (laughs) That's different though because... But that's different because there are actual love interests. The whole storyline has the whole love interest thing going on. Cat Noir loves Ladybug. Marinette loves Adrian. But don't you guys kind of... Adrian loves Split between Ladybug and Adrian. Aren't you guys kind of Bumblebee though? Don't you sort of ship Yang and Blake? No, we don't ship anybody. We said if we had to choose a ship, fine. But like, honestly... No, no, I I don't see any reason. about ships. Yeah. We never really did unless we were asked about it. If mm-hmm. I had to pick someone, I'd say at the most would probably be like Blake and Sun. So you'd be Black Sun? Probably. I mean... But like, if I had to pick... They're fighting to save the world. They ain't got time for that. All I right? agree 100%. I'm just saying, like, can we just not? And everybody's just like... Nothing like, annoys me more than shipping. in the middle of a story where people like, go, Wait, 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 wait. I know we have to get there in an hour to save the world, but... <gasps> Which love interest do I choose? Like, like oh my god. 
I love love as much as anybody else. I want to see Last Christmas because I like movies like that. You know, I am obsessed. I want to see it like that. And while that doesn't hurt it, what I'm saying, <laughs> like, I own a shit ton of like romance novels. I'm I like that kind of stuff. But there, but there is, is a time where, like, and a place for it, people. A time and a place. Yeah, there are shows where there should not be any like, yeah, exactly. ideas of romantic. Mm-hmm. Love interests, things mm-hmm. like that, and Ruby is one of those shows. I Even mean, Arcos? we can live without it. Even who? Even Arcos. What's Arcos? Arcos is Pierre and Jean. Pierre's dead. Oh my god. No, but <laughs> did you support that relationship before? I mean, is it different because Pierre was pretty clearly in love with yeah, Jean? Yeah, it was different because it was clearly there. It wasn't semi possibly maybe. And then there was Ren and Nora. Yeah, I think Ren and Nora. We're okay with Ren and Nora. We're okay with Pierre and Jean because they made those things clear. But do we have to ship everybody with somebody? I mean, I agree. I personally think there's probably a good likelihood we'll get a Bumblebee ship cannon. But all the like Rose Garden and they got a lot of stuff they're handling okay they are teenagers and they are trying to save the world I don't see Ruby being in a relationship at all Ruby and Weiss I don't see being in a a real ship no but they got enough on their plate come on like really like like they got time for that okay I'm just saying I don't really have a huge number of theories going forward that we haven't already talked about. So. Who do you think is going to die? Honestly, I think Penny's dad's going to die. Mm. I think he's sick. I think Maria's going to die. I don't think they're going to have Maria I think die. we like her too much. I don't think they want her to die yet. She definitely is on the chopping block like Crow because after all, there's nothing more they like to do than kill the mentor. I mean, look what happened to Obi Wan Kenobi and Yoda. Oh, Star Wars. But then, <laughs> okay. Anyway, I think Crow's gonna almost die. Well, again. let's be honest. Ruby does not generally like follow the norm when it comes to the yeah. show. So it's because they have because they've gone how many volumes again, at least. without making Ruby fall in love with somebody, and they've gone how many volumes without making Weiss fall in love with anybody. I mean, by now somebody should have been loving somebody. <laughs> so they somebody clearly was, don't. Nora. They clearly don't follow <laughs> the norms. Not really. They finally held hands. On screen, I'm pretty sure there's stuff going on off screen. Mm. Okay. They do. I feel like they do have feelings for each other, but they're not gonna like. They don't have time to pursue yeah, that or they, anything. They, they, they don't have time to shit. talk about that or do well, anything first about all, that. Don't you remember the last opening where they were sitting there in the train station and uh, Nora had her arms around Ren the entire opening? So I think that's just canon. But that, those are those. I mean, that's. I feel like we're getting a little weird circle there, but I think going back to what I said before, dying. I think Penny's dad's dying. I think he's sick. I hope Ironwood dies. You don't like Ironwood? No. I never did. He's very weak. He annoys me. How do you end up in charge like that, being that weak? I mean... He's like... Pretending to not be Lionheart, basically. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> God. <laughs> Might be safer for me over here. Oh my god. <laughs> like we weren't discussing your chin, okay? <laughs> Why do you always go to that? <laughs> because I know it, it bugs you. <laughs> I don't go to anything but your physical appearance. My beautiful. I don't talk about anything you're self-conscious about. Alright, alright. You know, and I know you have them because you've had two kids. There's a lot of things you're self-conscious about. I'm just saying, like, he bugs me because he's... The manly man, but he's also <laughs> a weak as fuck. The manly man. Douchebag. He just bugs me. He thinks he's not basically Jacques when he is. Just because he is doing the right thing, or he has the right idea, that doesn't mean he's basically not like every other adult who has let them down at this point. Yep. Okay. 
I always feel bad for Oscar. Because, we all feel bad for Oscar. Because I get that everybody hates Aspen, but come on. They're punt crow punched Oscar in the face. And that had see, that's that still hurt. Oscar's body. And we see the the, uh, bad for him. <laughs> the Ironwood and Oscar are gonna have a fight. Yeah. yeah, and I'm pretty sure that's because he's going to feel the same way Crow does. Mm-hmm. Betrayed. That's why they're fighting. I bet you. million dollars. So, talk about other characters. What about Winter? She bugs me. Do you think she's going to side in the end with Ironwood? Oh, Weiss? yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. Okay. She's going to side with Because Ironwood. that's a one Ironwood. theory about maybe her... Siding with Jacques in the end. Really? Mm hmm. But she hates him. Maybe. I don't know. How did they justify that? That she had always been on his side, that she was sent in the military to sort of be like uh, his way to get control by getting his daughter high up. The theory being is Jacques wants to rule Atlas by being the most powerful person. That I could see, but I don't think Winter is a pawn in that. And I don't think Winter think has anything to do with that. And no. I don't think she'll side with him. I, I think, I think she I fucking about. hates him. I think Winter was Just supposed like to be in Weiss's place. Like, with their whole Jack and Weiss relationship thing. And, like, what he wanted Weiss to be. But then Winter just, like, went off on her own. So then he's the like, okay, well, you'll do. And then she went off, and so... Okay. Well, personally, now he's only got the other douchebag in the family. <laughs> well, I actually don't know what I think about Winter right now. I'll have to wait some more. I think she she's like me. ride I or die she's, Ironwood. Yeah, she's it's, ride or die. Well, she's definitely loyal to Ironwood, but I don't know how much she really loves her sister, so I'm not sure where to put her right now. Um, we all hate Jacques. She's cookie delicious. Don't bring it up by her. <sighs> I know. Why? You guys hate... I didn't watch Empire. We don't... We refuse to watch the last the season whole of it because cast, of the whole thing. Like, no. A We're bunch of the cast... With the show of... or with the whole... The whole shit that happened. Like, we're not going to get into it. We're not. Just the thing here Just... in Chicago? Yeah. With Smollett? Okay. Anyway. So, we all hate Jacques. But, yep. what yep. about Whitley? Because there's two oh, schools... Oh, I fucking Whitley. hate Whitley. Whitley. Me personally, I think it's a discussion too, but all this will thought is that he is not really a terrible person. <laughs> he just... Can I at least finish saying the school of thought? Go ahead. It's okay. just that he um, we'll basically has been forever. brainwashed by his dad to kind of be his heir, and that if he was able to, if he were able to get him away from his father for an extended period of time, he would start to become a better person. That he's not a bad person by nature, but because he's trying to impress his father, who's a terrible person. He acts like a terrible person. No. Well. <laughs> Sorry. You I weren't think... doing it with me. I was waiting for you and you <laughs> you left me hanging. Well, I think it was. I it think was he's just a garbage human like being. That. And then now he. he I think I he's didn't... just a garbage human being because that's what he was raised with and that's who he's always going to be nature versus nurture. He was nurtured into that and he was already born partially like that. Okay. So here's my final question, and I don't know her name. Weiss's mom. We know she's a drunk. Mm-hmm. But do you think she'll show up? Do you think she'll be on Weiss's side? She ain't showing up. Mm-hmm. There's no point. There's no reason for them to bring her into this. Yeah, I don't see how they would do that. I don't think they're gonna do I don't that. think Winter's gonna be on Weiss's side. I think Weiss is gonna stand alone. She's the proverbial cheese. But <laughs> like how you were in that play. Yes. That was always the cheese. <laughs> I always stood alone. The cheese stands alone. I know the song. I'm... She was always the cheese. I think Weiss is going to basically be against everybody in her family. I don't think Winter's mm-hmm. going to agree with Jacques, but I also don't think she's going to back up Weiss at all. I think she's going to be against so the whole thing Weiss with Weiss. Is so it's going to be like her family. Winter Winter's against, against Weiss, everyone. Winter's against Jacques and Whitley, and then Weiss is against Jacques and Whitley, and Weiss wanted to count on Winter, but now she can't, and so Weiss is just here. Mm-hmm. By herself. 
Well, she still me. thinks she can count so, on winter. I don't think she can. Where does the cake butler fit into all this? The what? The cake butler. Oh, uh... Oh, the regular <laughs> the butler. seven dwarves. Yeah, I can't remember his name right now. It's bugging me. I was trying to think about asking. I hope he shows up again. Although, I, I think, think he, he could have been fired. Hmm. I'm pretty sure he wasn't fired, but I don't think he's going to show up. Uh, any other characters you think I think up? Weiss is going to have to have a showdown with her family, and I think she's going to have to stand and just with on her Atlas own because general. she can't keep counting on everybody to be there to rescue her from her family. Mm-hmm. So I think she's just going to have to finally stand up for herself at some point. Yeah. Okay. She shall be the cheese. So, no Flynn Cole showing up again? The cheese. No who? Flynn Cole. The guy with the trumpet. Oh my god. No. Cheese! Or, um, I cannot remember Rainbow Cat's character name. <laughs> Neon? Mm. Oh, Neon. No. Yeah. Oh my god. So, no You're Neon? Welcome. No Neon showing up? No. Okay. Any other final? Theory? I think they're too fun for this very serious world. Right so now. Now. So they're just like side characters that have that was in the. Yeah, no, but weren't popular. they from Atlas? They're from Atlas, and they're popular. Yeah, mm. but they're too fun for this so serious too, version of Atlas. Right now, Atlas is all dark, brooding. They're all Atlas. Hey is, guys, you need to follow the rules, or we're gonna fucking shoot your ass. You don't have a gun. How do you think they're going to get out of the Aesop's thing? Well, I think they end up working with Aesop pretty clearly. I mean, you see them fighting together against the... uh... He only has seven tentacles. So he's not even an octopus kitty. Maybe he lost one. He's not even a squid kitty. Maybe he lost one in the fight. Do you think I don't know how to count that you had to recount it? That's exactly what he thinks. Apparently. Sweetie, he's a teenager and you're his mom. You're always wrong. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's probably face. where we can wrap it up. Unless you guys have any final thoughts, theories. It's really hot. The air did not rise and I'm in a very fluffy robe. <laughs> okay, then. Well, we'll go ahead and end the video here so you can uh, de-robe a fly you. fluff. Hot air, mm-hmm. clouds. I don't know what I'm saying there. Anyway, so if you like our brand of crazy... That's why you can't trust him about NASA and science. (laughs) I'm gonna move. You wanna switch places at some point? Don't you dare touch (laughs) Becky. Get up. Leave my collection. If you like our our, uh, brand of crazy... Go ahead, like, comment, subscribe. Um, we're definitely looking forward to new subscribers. Wait, wait, we love stories. Wait, wait. We're writers. Um, if you guys are interested, we have a lot of other series going on. We have Sword Art Online Abridged reactions going on down in the uh, com- uh, description. I'll leave that. We also have <laughs> Supernatural Reviews. We're doing those every week. So, um, you know, we try and bring our crazy and the fact that Lots of crazy. And the fact that, you know, we're both writers, so trying to bring our perspective on storytelling to <laughs> these stories. That's Thank why we are story fandom. Anyway. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to end it because I don't even know how to. They're throwing me off my game. So badly. <laughs> so badly. <laughs>